here we have a diagram with our <clears throat> lens and image. And we already saw one way to figure out uh, where this image is going to form and how large the image will be. Uh, that was by drawing a ray diagram using the three principal rays. Uh, that's a very good way to get an estimate of approximately where the image will be, approximately how big it will be. Uh, but unless you have some patience and a ruler, it's, you can't get uh, exact values from the image diagram, or from the ray diagram. And so it's helpful to have some equations. Uh, so before I write down any equations, um, I want to label everything in this diagram. Uh, so the two yellow X's, those are our focal points. They are a, a distance away from the center of the lens equal to the absolute value of the focal length for that lens. Uh, here is our object. It is an object distance, uh, which we label P, away from the center of the lens. The image is an image distance, which we label Q, away from the center of the lens. Uh, we can also label an object height and an image height, HO and HI. Uh, and both of those are measured from the optical axis, this horizontal blue line through the center of the lens, uh, from the optical axis to the edge of the object or the image. So let's relate some of these quantities with some equations. Uh, so the first equation is uh, known as the lens equation, and it relates the focal length of the lens to the object distance P and the image distance Q. Uh, so if we know any two out of those three, we can use the lens equation to solve for the other quantity. Uh, and this, when we're using this equation, it's again important to keep track of our sign conventions that we introduced earlier. Uh, that being that over here, the incoming side, the side that light is incoming from, um, is the virtual side. Distances over here are negative distances. Uh, I mentioned earlier that there would be one exception. Uh, and the exception is this object distance. We would expect that the object is on the incoming side of the lens. Uh, and generally what we expect is what we give positive values to. Uh, so in this diagram, the object distance P would be a positive number, even though the object is to, to the left of the lens. That's actually what we expect. Uh, but in general, distances on the left here are negative distances. Distances on the right, what we call the real side, uh, are positive distances. So in this uh, diagram that we're looking at, if we wanted to use the lens equation, um, f would be a positive value uh, because it's a positive number for converging lenses, which is what we have. p would be a positive number because we expect the object to be on the incoming side of the lens. And q would be a positive uh, number because the image is on the real side, uh, the outgoing side of the lens. Uh, but we will see in the future some situations where uh, one or more of these numbers might be negative. But in the diagram we're looking at, they would all come out to be positive numbers. Um, so that is one equation that can help us figure out where the image will form uh, given the object distance and the focal length. Another useful equation is the equation for magnification. Uh, so the magnification is the ratio of the image height to the object height. Uh, and here, uh, if we sort of label the top of the screen as our positive direction, then the object height uh, would be a positive number here, and the image height would be a negative number uh, because this image is inverted. It's pointing downward. Um, so hi divided by h0 uh, would be a negative number larger than 1, larger than 1 because our image uh, is larger than our object in this diagram. And it turns out that this uh, ratio, uh, image height divided by object height, is also equal to the image distance divided by the object distance. Uh, and we said a moment ago that Q and P in this diagram that we're looking at are both positive numbers, so we stick a negative sign in front of this. Uh, and this is, seems a little bit strange at first, maybe, to inject uh, a random negative sign or what might look random at first, but it gives us the useful uh, quality that if m is a negative number, then the image is inverted. If m is a positive number, then the image is upright. Um, and that will always be true. Uh, so we can use the magnification not just to figure out how tall the image will be, but whether it will be upright or inverted. Uh, and both of these equations, the lens equation and the fact that magnification can be uh, is equal to negative q divided by p, uh, those both come from the ray diagram. If we draw the ray diagram and do a little bit of geometry, 
um, we can come up with these equations. Uh, so the numbers that we get from these equations are consistent with the numbers we would get from a very accurately drawn ray diagram.